It may or may not have just cut almost all my hair. <laughs> it was like hitting my shoulders and now it is not. Gotta wait for the furnace to turn off. The furnace is off. So we gotta get this done quick. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different than what I have normally been doing on my channel, which has typically been dedicated to things along the lines of improving my mental health. It hopes that it inspires you guys to improve your own mental health. But I recently came across a YouTuber named Lena Norms who inspired my previous video actually because I came across this video about clothing, which really caught my attention. And also there were these gorgeous jade trousers in her video that I found myself really wanting. Then I actually discovered that she is primarily a book YouTuber, also known as a YouTuber from BookTube. So I ended up getting so much inspiration from her from all of her book recommendations that I actually started getting back into reading. I think she has such great taste in books so far. And I'm currently in the middle of doing a book challenge, which essentially is inspired by her. So you will probably be hearing a lot from Lena Norms if you are a regular watcher of mine and a subscriber, which we are currently at 99 subscribers right now. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who have chosen to hit that subscribe button. So thank you guys so much. During this book challenge, I have read this book right here, which I finished it in about 12 hours, which is faster than I think I've finished any book ever, especially since this one is over 400 pages. I highly recommend it. I think that the writing is so, so well done. I just found it to be such a great book. Google at 2 a.m. remind me to turn the furnace back on. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the books that I want to read in February. The reason I'm covering up this site is because it's got a barcode of my local library and y'all don't need to know where that is. So the first book that I want to read is The Power by Naomi Alderman. So like I said, I am doing a book challenge and a part of that book challenge, I do plan on reading this book and that'll carry me into the beginning of February. So I figured I would throw that onto my list and tell you guys about this book. So essentially what this book seems to be about is that it seems that everyone is living a normal life and men seem to have the upper hand which sounds pretty similar to how things are in real life until everything changes and women and girls have this immense physical power that changes everything. And I think that that is a really, really interesting storyline. So I'm really excited to read this book. And the next one is The Elegance of the Hedgehog. This one is essentially about a hotel concierge who is kind of hiding the fact that she is very intelligent and she's into philosophy and music and art and Japanese culture. And then there's also, I believe it's from two different point of views. So the concierge who I just mentioned, as well as a young girl who is very, very smart and is actually hiding that smartness because she kind of knows how the world is, unfortunately. So she plans on ending her life on her next birthday. And then it seems that a Japanese man comes and stays at the hotel, becomes friends with the young girl and kind of sees through the concierge, her mask, and the way that she portrays herself to be to other people. And I think that that as well is a very, very interesting storyline. Another recommendation from Lena Norm. So I'm very excited to read this book as well. Yeah, so that one seems very interesting to me as well. I am very interested to see kind of how the relationship between the girl and the concierge plays out, I guess. So I do have another one and I don't actually have a physical copy of it at the moment just because it is on hold at my library at the moment, but it is don't you Forget About Me by Vari McFarlane. McFarlane. Very sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. It seems to be that this one is just another kind of romantic novel about someone named Georgina who is found herself in kind of like a really shit situation where she's lost her job and her boyfriend was not being faithful to her. So her, her situation in life seems quite shit. And then her new boss ends up being someone from her past who doesn't seem to remember her. And that's basically all the information about the book that they really give you. So very interested to see how that one goes as I did very much love her If I Never Met You book. The next book that I'm hoping to read in February is Dear Z Lots, a book by Amos Oz, which I hope I'm saying their name right. And I believe this book is a series of three essays which all speak on political manners in regards to Israel. Now I will be honest, I don't know too much about politics that um, are outside of Canada and the US. So I'm very interested to find out the politics of Israel and kind of see what 
what this is this book is all about so I'm definitely interested in reading more about political events that, that have happened or are currently happening especially ones that you don't find in the media especially since I don't really watch TV as it is anyways but I definitely want to learn more through writers and first-hand experiences from people who are going through whatever they're going through in their home country so I'm very interested in broadening my knowledge of the political ongoings of other countries. And then this is another feminist Don't Wear Pink curated by Scarlett Curtis. But this is just a collection of writings from a myriad of feminists who range from Hollywood actresses to teenage activists. And they're all telling their personal story about how they feel and their relationship with feminism. It essentially it says by giving women the space to explain how they actually feel about feminism. So I'm very interested to see what this one is going to be all about. I haven't read too many books about feminism. I think I've maybe only read one, but it is a, bu a big mix of a bunch of essays, so that should help keep my attention for a little bit longer. Oh. Cool. I like that. There's like a little part in the back where you're able to kind of write your notes to other readers. Some people who have taken this from my library have written down in it, so that's really cool. Now, if I do have the time to read any more books, as February is the shortest month of the year, that doesn't leave too much extra time to read any extra books, especially since I've already chosen five for five or four, four for the month. But if I do happen to find myself either not being able to get into a book because I tried to not push myself to read. I know at some point I will read the book. But I try to not push myself to read a book that I'm not enjoying. It's taken me a long time to be able to confidently do that because otherwise I feel like I've kind of failed and I don't like that. You haven't failed if you don't finish a book. It's just something that may not be a book that you need to read at that exact moment. I am hoping to be interested in all of the books that I have mentioned so far but if I am not, I have three backups. One is Queenie by Candice Cardi Williams. It looks like a very very interesting book based on the description. So I'm very interested in reading, especially because I'm very interested in reading more authors who are Black, Indigenous, or people of color, as well as predominantly female writers, and especially to as LBGTQ plus writers. So I am trying to broaden that as much as I can while still kind of satisfying my fiction need because I have a very hard time focusing on some non-fictions because I have a very short attention span. Excited to read that one. There is also The Way Home by David A. Neal. The cover of this actually caught my attention. This one was not a recommendation from Lena Norms. This is the only book that isn't a recommendation from her. And it is a autobiography, which is essentially about the author reconnecting with his culture and becoming an accomplished, I'm not gonna be able to say this right, quack, quack. Walk. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. I'm so, so terribly sorry. Artist when he returns to British Columbia years after leaving the province after the death of his artist father. So it says that the series is a part of indigenous collections. Again, I really want to not only learn more about, you know, the political things that I don't know that are happening around the world, as well as just all the different cultures around because I have the privilege and the ability to learn about all of these different cultures and many of the struggles that especially indigenous peoples face in Canada that we should know more about since we're not taught about it in school. So if you guys do have any other recommendation on other indigenous authors, please do let me know in the comments below. There is another book that I'm really interested in reading, which is This Is Their Land, which I'll put right here. I'm not 100% sure if that one is more related to the US versus Canada, but obviously I'm going to find out more once I do end up reading that book. The final extra book that I have on my list here is Who's That Girl by Vary McFarlane. This one is another kind of just romantic novel that I'm really interested in. Again, it's just her writing. She's a very good writer, highly recommended by Lena Norms. She's actually a Scottish writer, which I think is really cool as I'm half Scottish, so that's exciting. <laughs> I'm just really into the escapism right now. I think that's why I've been so into the fictional novels lately, just because escapism is really nice when everything outside 
is shit. The fictional novels, as well as me binge watching Bridgerton's, has really helped with the escapism. If you guys have any recommendations for books, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be very interested to hear what your opinions are about some of the books that you've read, especially if there's a book that you just constantly go back to and reread when you don't feel like reading anything else. Try not to give away any spoilers, maybe even some autobiographies about maybe like your favorite people, whether, you know, they're political activists or very strong names in history, specifically women and Black Indigenous people of color. And if you guys have read or plan to read any of the books that I've mentioned today, please let me know in the comments which ones you plan on reading or have read already and enjoyed or didn't enjoy. I'll be sure to check out any recommendations you guys have and add them to my TBR list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button because it really does support my channel and helps the algorithm get on my side. As well as subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be notified about future videos that I'll be making. And be sure to also follow me on all of my social media. They're always the pinned comment in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Eh, there it is. Just showing. <laughs> Ooh, I am having a hell of a time here. I recent, but I recent, blah, blah, that sounded very official. I've been watching Bridgerton, if you can't tell. One is Queenie by Candace Carly, Carty? Carty? That's finally done. Oh my God, it's like two o'clock in the morning and I just want to watch Bridgerton again. Okay, I gotta go turn on my furnace. I can't forget this time because drama will be very mad at me.